everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i'm here to film the third hopefully final part of my color book collection all my completed pages and i just say hopefully because hopefully i can squeeze it all in here and this won't drag on for too many parts because i don't know who wants to sit and watch <laughs> all of the parts and they're super long so we will just go ahead and get started with one of my favorite favorite artist illustrators Fabiana Atanasio I simply adore her work just because it makes me happy to color and it just always puts me in a good mood and it helps me be creative sometimes so I'm going to kick things off with Peter Pan and she also is the reason that I bought my very first adult coloring book um three years ago <laughs> So here I did a Peter Pan, nothing too special and fancy about him. Here was a buddy color that I did with Coloring F here on YouTube. And of course there is some glitter gel pens and I was super pumped to do this one because um, it was when I first got my Color Technic glitter gel pens. I was, I was more than ready to use them on a the picture and I remember doing this intense background kind of blurry faded out to make it look like it's quilted just to give the background something extra and those who used to watch Proud Family doesn't he look like BB Penny's little brother his hair looks like BB that was not my inspiration I actually had did his hair a different way messed up and y'all know what I say black acrylic paint fixes all and then there is some gold Ganzai Tambi Starry watercolor paint on the frame. Here was a buddy color that I did with coloring chat with Sammy and coloring F. And we all agreed to color Tinkerbell. And I remember this was me being really proud of my skin because I followed a tutorial, a beginner tutorial from Sammy to complete Tinkerbell skin. And we're talking like way back when, when I did this one. It had to be like 20. 18 maybe even 2017 I'm not even sure because I don't write things down but there is some glitter gel pen in her wings and I took a super tips watered it down to do this color I believe and then I used a super tip to do all the individual dots and then went over with the glitter gel pen so I did the most on her wings and I made her have like little gladiator sandals because I drew this on here and yeah this was really fun to do here is, you'll see some OG pictures, y'all. So here is an OG picture of pizza. Uh, I really can't wait to do this one so I can just see the comparison. It's going to be so fun. But I'm thinking about um, making this water just so it looks like it's the ocean right here. So I do have a plan for that one when I go ahead and complete it. Here is an OG picture and this is with my 12 set of ink tints that I did this floor and all this wood and then I believe I did this when I had the Crayola colored pencils because I distinctly remember using Crayola and this is how I used to color when I was little I would outline something dark and then color in light so that was when I was still doing that kind of but I was trying to learn to blend and whatnot with my prismas so you know these are the beginnings and I actually kept their outfits the same like he's purple um, throughout the book he has the green and the red hair he has the same red um fox outfit and then he looks similar too I think he does too I'm not sure um I don't vow to keep them all the same but I did kind of he well th they're different on this page actually but I did kind of try that so as you can see this is a really old picture um I did this with Crayola I believe Crayola colored pencils so I mean my skin has come a long way my shading has come a long way and it's just so fun to just look back and see growth. Here's a OG one. And I think I did this with Intense 2. And this is when I started to give Peter tights. <laughs> and I think I put some stickles on this bottle of poison or whatever this is at the top right here. Um, let's see what else I have. This one where I drew like this little mom tattoo on him. And I have some glitter gel paint on her. Um... Again, I forget her name, Tiger Lily, I think. And then I drew some water with my finger to splash it around and make it look like the boat had movement. And there's some glitter gel pen on here. I honestly can say Peter Pan is not a favorite of mine. I don't even watch it at all. I haven't seen it since I was a child, but I just hopped on it because I think this was the second book she did because Alice was first. 
And so I had just went ahead and bought this one because I was familiar with her through Alice in Wonderland. And here are my mermaids that I've done. And I call her my Pride Rock Mermaid because she looks like this is she's sitting on Pride Rock from The Lion King. And of course, I had to have an Ariel Mermaid. And like what I was doing with these eyelashes right here on her, I have not a clue, but she looks crazy. She looks like those ladies that wear those terrible caterpillar eyebrows, eyelashes that look terrible. Anyway, so here I have a picture. And this was inspired by something I had seen on Pinterest. And I don't remember who the colorist was that I took inspiration from. But I really looked at their picture and kind of got mine together based on that. And I finished this in one day sitting, stressing myself out. And I don't know why I felt like I had to complete a page in one day. And I think I've said that it's redundant now. But I did used to have that crazy unrealistic expectation. And so, yeah, this is where he has the orange hair so purple. So I kind of kept them the same. But I used like a bunch of different stuff on here. Like ink tints, Prismacolor, Super Tip Marker, a whole bunch of stuff. Um... And then here I have this one with Wendy. So I even do my Wendy different. So like I was doing, I was making her have blonde hair. And then like more recently when I did Wendy, the family looks totally different. So, you know, I don't care. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. But yeah, I had um some metallic gel pen on my Tinkerbell up here. You can see that. And there is some glitter gel pen on parts of Wendy's dress. Here I have Captain Hook's hook that I did way back and this background was ink tints and this used to be white and then the white, the it has absorbed the color from the gel pen so it's not white anymore. Make sure I'm not skipping anything. Oh yeah, this one, how could I forget this one and it reminds me of um, the DreamWorks boy because I drew him up here and you know we have Big Ben and I use um, Chuck Pastel's. And then more recently, I've done this one as a buddy color, which I just talked about in my completed pages video. So I won't go on and on about that. And then I think that's all I have for Peter Pan, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's all I've done in Peter Pan. Here I have the Wizard of Oz, which was so generously gifted to me by a lovely subscriber. And I have done the one in here. Which is this one, which is a color and chat on my channel where I do most of this picture. Um, some things like Wendy and the robot, the robot, <laughs> the Tin Man was already color. I said the robot simply because I've been watching Futurama lately, and people who watch Futurama, y'all know Bender, and he reminds me of Bender. Anyway. Um, yeah, this one was really fun to do and I enjoyed doing that one and I haven't done another one in here quite yet, but I will hopefully, um, fairly soon. Okay, the book that started it all, my reignition, 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 reintroduction, I don't know, to adult coloring since coloring as a child. And it was this book that I bought back in April 2017 and I don't do well with white book covers and it's just been through a bunch of just nonsense as to why it's dirty. I don't know but I still love it nonetheless. So I have a double page food spread that I've done way back when and I really enjoyed doing this page because y'all know food is my jam and I had a lot of fun just coming up with what all types of different desserts these would be. Sorry, I had to cough. Okay, here I have my Mad Hatter with his mismatched eyebrows and hair. And I think I color him a lot with Crayola, but then I was using Prismacolor up here to try to blend my yellow and oranges together. So yeah, there's him. He's super old. I have this one that I've done with the Queen of hearts and someone has done this amazingly on instagram i love their version of it here is my alice with the mushrooms and i don't know if it's glitter on her most likely it is yeah some parts of her and oh her bow duh um, here we have this one which it just makes me laugh every time i look at it because it's just so funny so I won't go into too much detail about these pictures because I believe y'all have seen this before because I already walked you through all of my Fabiana Atanasio pictures so 
I'm just going to breeze through these because I, I have a whole video on my Fabian the Atanasio books and you can check that out on my channel if you would like to feel free so yeah I won't take forever on these um <laughs> at all actually so we'll just move on to the next one I think I have the one whip in this one that I never went back to and I'm actually going to fix her dress when I get back to it because I don't like this white in the middle but yeah I have this one and I haven't done anything else in the newer one because I have two copies Beauty and the Beast I won't spend forever on it because again I have videos of me talking about all these pictures this was a buddy color with Francis and Sammy I started this one, never came back to it. Um, I don't know. I just don't feel like doing it uh, right right about now. And I think that's it for Beauty and the Beast. Well, I really thought I did something else in here. Hmm. Interesting. All right, moving right along. Snow White. And I really want Hansel and Gretel now. And the seller was selling it on Amazon, but the shipping was $10 recently because it's from a third-party seller. And I was like, yeah, no, because the book was like $8, $8 or something, which is totally doable. But I don't know. In my soul, I don't want to pay $10 for shipping. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just wait. I'll wait and see. I think that's it for Snow White. Cinderella, we're gonna breeze through some. I love this one. Ugh, I want to do this one so bad, but it's gonna take me forever because now I layer more and everything, so it's really gonna take me forever. Um, I think back here is a whip. Oh, this was the very first picture that I did a coloring chat on when I started my channel way back when, but it's gone now, so <laughs> that picture will always be remembered. For that purpose for me. This one. So sorry if I'm going too fast. But I have videos on this. So this one I really felt motivated and ambitious to complete. Until my mom said that they look like aliens. And it just made me not want to color it anymore. And then the more I look at it. I don't like her how big her forehead is. But I don't know. My mom just killed my morale for this picture. So <laughs> that's why it's not done. This was a buddy color with a coloring chat with Sammy and Francis. And I think, oh, duh, I just recently completed this one. What am I smoking? And I think that is all for my Cinderella. And now we will move on to the next set of books. Okay, so next I have my um, Chinese coloring books. And this one is the coloring book of the Gorgeous Wedding Dress. And I love my Chinese coloring books. They're some of my favorite. And um, Dada Mao, who illustrates most of these, I believe uh, only one may not be by her. Um, she's one of my favorite um, artists now. So I'm happy to have discovered her. So I've done this one, which I was heavily inspired by Tinkerbell and the Disney castle for this one. And I'm not like a huge Disney person, but... In my mind, I only saw her as Tinkerbell, so I had to do it. I had to do it. And then I have this um, Deer Spirit in the Lake picture that I completed. And I don't know if the glitter gel paint or the stickles or whatever is going to show. And I really wish I knew how to do, like, this water and her veil better. Like, I would make more effort now. <laughs> in hindsight but I do like how she turned out and I used a lot of Arteza mostly Arteza for her skin her hair her dress every, the whole nine I might have mixed like a Prisma or Polly in there here and there but she was all Arteza colored pencils and I have the 72 set that was before they released the 120 um what else do I have in here oh yeah my my picture that just gave me so much trouble when I completed it a couple months ago but it's here now and then you can see the glossy accents on the roses and yeah it just gave me such a headache but I do like the end result for the most part I just didn't like a lot of things that dealt with her because her skin was washed out because I tried to use polychromos on her skin but his skin was polys and came out fine so I don't know what the deal was but yeah it's done that's all I can say is done. I love this one this is on my to-do list and this is on my to-do list but I don't I think I'll cry after I color like three of these parts of these what are these hydrangeas or something I don't know but it's it's on my list and I love her it's just on my list to do Ugh, so many books oh and this one is one of my favorites too 
So this book is like one of my favorite Chinese coloring books, I must say. So I'll just shut up about it and move on to the next book. Okay, this one I believe is called A Dream of Red Mansions. Not really sure because it's called different stuff everywhere. My page tore out uh, because I tore a page out of this book because it was so horrible. I messed up so bad and I didn't want to look at it. And I tore it out and this page came out... Um unfortunately but here's a whip i mostly just did this to demonstrate uh washi tape how you can use washi tape in your color books for clothing but i was experimenting with her skin tone and i really do love her and i do know what i'm going to do with this picture i just haven't felt like returning to it this was a mess that i did like a year or two ago and yeah it just did not come out very nice and i just leave it in because i'm not going to tear out another page this one is one that I did a long time ago and this was me beginning trying to figure out my white gray hair because I did a watercolor base I remember for this one and then pencil on top but yeah I really like this one and my peach looks really good down here <laughs> but yeah I used a lot of watercolor paint and then did pencil over top for her I distinctly remember um, it's so many pictures in these books that I want to do this one where I didn't care about the background because they are the focal point and I just phoned it in with Neo Color 2 for this background. Uh, let's see what else I have. Her right here. This was another one where I did not care about the background and I just did ink tints. But for her specifically, I love how she came out and everything about her. And this was my first, one of my first times using Polychromos for skin. So, yeah, I'm really proud of how that worked out that's just the poster that you get this one and she has some stickles on her headdress and her necklace her neck piece here and i think that may be it for this one yeah this is just scratch paper and this is the one where i play around and show y'all like different skin tones and hair and stuff so we'll move on to the next one here I have, I think this is called Rotug Ladies, but then I heard it's Portuguese Ladies. I don't know, but, because <laughs> I don't speak these languages. I wish I did, but, you know. And all these were ordered on AliExpress, by the way. So, this one was where I demonstrated a skin tone recently, but this had been done because I was doing a marble effect on her dress. This one is where I did my sunburn lady, because she just looks so red and... I just don't want to come in and fix it. <laughs> She's been sitting for a while. And she was the first one that I did the washi tape on clothing. Actually. She was patient zero. Okay, so here we have this one that I did. And I really love her because I love the purple and the sheer of the fabric. And yeah, I, I really like how she came out. And I think she has some glitter on her. If I can't put stickles, I'll try to put glitter. <laughs> more more often than not at all and I have my fancy lady here drinking tea and I used ink tints for her clothes ink tints for her hat ink tints for the background I went ink tints crazy <laughs> because the ink tints gave her clothing like a texture and it just looks like I don't know looks real to me so I really liked how she came out and this was me using the black widow light skin set for her and the dark skin set for her hair so the light skin set I'm really disappointed in but I do love that dark set. It's one of my favorite um, bunch of colors, actually. We'll move on to what I have next. Okay, this one, I don't know the name of either. I'm sorry, but they're all on AliExpress. If you type in Chinese coloring books, they, they all pop right up. So this was one of my first Chinese coloring books because this is the first page that I ever did in these books when... Uh, I've started my obsession with them and when I first got this book so I have some Ganzai Tambi Starry Go watercolor on there and then I used a watercolor base for her skin those chalky scratchy watercolors that I have were the base for her kimono and then I went over with pencil and then I used chalk pastel in the background but I'm really proud how she came out even now and this was like a year and a half two years ago so I think um she looks really good for that Make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, I have a buddy color in here. This was a buddy color with coloring F. And we chose this one, which I really like how she came out. And I used gouache for her clothes. 
and washi tape as well. So I I did this one, which was a mess because it just the water re reactivated from the neo color. It reactivated to the water down acrylic paint, and I should have just left it. But I don't know how to leave well enough alone sometimes, and it just screwed it all up. But it's here because I do like it when I look past this mess fog stuff that I was trying to do here. <laughs> It looks terrible. And then this one, she reminds me of Rihanna because I did like Rihanna red hair. And I I think I used my Prismacolor. Yeah, I used my Prismacolor for her skin tone. And I didn't write this down. I'm pretty sure I'll rediscover one. But this one kind of made me disappointed because like on, just on this page alone, it has this texture on it. The rest of my pages don't are, are not like that. They don't have that. But I still love her and she's still here for my enjoyment and she does have some glitter gel pen on her of course she does and that is all she wrote for this one here i have knights of drunken river i believe this one is called and it's basically a kung fu book and i freaking love this one and i think i have a whip back here that i started christmas of 2018 and i distinctly remember it being christmas of 2018 because my dad was over my house <laughs> and he um saw my picture it may not even be in here i'm pretty sure it is because it's like some guys fighting i don't know maybe i'll come across it but here i have this one and it inspired me i was inspired i should say by um avatar the last airbender anime one of my favorite animes and i kind of made him look like a grown-up ang although if you watch the legend of Korra, you actually get to see ang grown up and he does look like this so it's so funny but um yeah i used some pearlescent watercolor um, on top of my pencil work and then this is the Ganzai Tambi and I just used my pencils to go over it to give it some more depth because you can go over it with it but I had to learn the balance because if you put too thick of a layer of the paint then the pencil's just going to scratch it off so yeah this one was fun to do and I really need to work on getting better in my water that's something that I really want to try but I really like how I did the jade of his necklace that's something I'm super proud of and I actually wrote that color combination down because I will forget. Oh, here he is. This is my guy. This is what I was talking about. So I had started this Christmas of 2018 and I have not come back to it. And now that I look at it, because I do skin differently now, I need to add some shadows right here on his nose and make it more visible that, you know, it's not flat to his face and I need to fix his lip. But I don't know because I kind of like really put a bunch of layers on here. So I'll have to see. But I do like this picture. And I need to get back to it. It's like so sad because they're friends now right here. And then they're going to fight. And I'm like, why? Did he did he drink all the alcohol? <laughs> and he didn't leave him any. And he's mad because, you know, his, I think that's what happened. But I don't know. <laughs> here is a picture that I did with um, my Neo Color 2s for the background. And I used ink tints for some of her clothing but then I used a, a just all Arteza on here and then I used ink tints for some of his clothing but mostly this was all Arteza's and I just love their skin and everything and how my um gold bronze came out I used Arteza's for that too so yeah I, this is one of my favorite ones that I've done it's just it just speaks a lot you know it just speaks a lot okay so Clearly, I like that picture. Um, oh, this is one where I was trying out skin tones. This is from 2018. Uh, I love the wrist cuffs and everything, but their skin just looks too yellow. He does. And then I just don't like how I need to fit. I should just go ahead and finish it, but I think I layered too much. And I don't know if I can come and, and add anything or or. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to see. But I do love this picture because I love this embrace. It's so sweet. I don't know. <laughs> I just get disheartened when things don't come out the way that I would like them. And it kills my motivation for pictures. Y'all can probably um, sympathize with me. So, this is another one I want to do. But I don't feel like doing this sheer curtain. I don't want to make a sheer. I, I have a probably use washi tape or something. I don't know. It's just a lot of big empty space that I don't want to deal with. I just want to work on my couple right here. So, yeah, but this is always in the back of my mind to do in this book. But I do love this book. This is another one of my favorites. And it's another one in here that's another one of my favorites. It reminds me of Game of Thrones, like when Jon Snow was fighting in the Battle of the Bastards. Where is it? I might have passed it. 
because it's on my to-do list. I don't see it. Oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. This one. It reminds me of when he was standing there and he drove his sword and then like the people were coming. Anyway, we'll move on to the next book. I don't think I've colored in this one, but ooh, that is not a good sound. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've colored in this one, but it's so beautiful. The illustrations that's already in the back of the book, like they did it with watercolor and it's so beautiful. I don't know the name of this one, but again, it's on AliExpress. And I think it's something like flowers in love with butterflies or it's something like that. Oh, I have her marked in back of my mind to do, but I don't want to do these flowers. I just want to focus on her. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about leaves and flowers, but I love these portraits. Something, some things in this book I don't like, like where is one where it's a good example? Because I bought this blind, I believe, but I really don't like these bubbles like if i want to add them i can add them but i don't like them to be already on the picture like i don't like these feathers already on here uh, i can get rid of them but it's just i don't want to have to i just want you know if i want to add it i want to add it i don't want to see it already on there not sometimes anyway but yeah this is a really nice one here's another one i have not colored in because I don't know if this is from Dada Mal. I'm for sure all these about Dada Mal. And then the ones that I showed yesterday, these about Dada Mal. You can tell her illustration style. This one, I'm not sure. Oops, I'm not sure about. And then it's also way thinner and more flimsier than these. These other ones, these are heavier, more weightier. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I bought this blind because I really liked a couple of pictures in here. And the paper's really flimsy. It's way more flimsier than the other books and some of the pictures disturb me in this book I'm not even gonna lie and it just I don't know if it's about Dada Mal because it just looks different if you can see like so, like I don't like this <laughs> uh, this was a nice one but I just haven't colored in it because it is kind of frightens me that it may be a bit different so I bought it really for this picture and it has that matchstick story about the girl selling matchsticks or something. I don't know. I love this picture because it's like old western. And it's like another one in here that I really like. But it's some interesting pictures in here. Oh, I was going to do this for Valentine's Day because it comes with this bookmark. I was going to color him, but I didn't feel very Valentine's-y when Valentine. Oh, and this one because this one's the cover. But I don't know. I, I really got And I love this for like Halloween. That's really cool. It has some nice pictures in here, but I don't know. I really just got to get my life together and color in here. Like, I love him. He looks like he belongs in, like, Final Fantasy or something. It's a Cinderella. It has fairy tales. Like, this is the Little Mermaid. This is Snow White. It's really cool, but the paper is just funny and it's flimsy. And I don't know, but I'll get around to it, I'm sure. Here, I have Eerie World Hair to Travel Through Time, Travel Over Time. I don't know and I've only done one two in here I'm lying so I've done this one and I did this fairly recently and I have my double page spread that y'all know y'all saw if you watched my completed pages when I came back to my channel and that's all I have in there so far okay so I have my romantic country the first tale and I do not have or do I have a bunch done these are early this is an earlier one this is an earlier one as well these are all from like two years ago or so uh, this one that I messed up that I never came back to <laughs> I've done the Halloween one and I'm so sad because I wanted to get a third copy a third copy a second copy of the third tale and now it's out of print and I kept debating about it for like a year and a half and I missed out so <laughs> you study long you study wrong like my mother and father tell me okay so here's one this was heavily inspired by something I had seen on Pinterest and I don't know who it was because I would totally give them credit if I knew so this one is a more recent one this was done in 2019 where I was playing with the lighting in the room and that's the only one that's done recently. The rest of these, like, this is really old from 2017. Because I bought this one, actually, when I first started to color. So, this is an old one, but this was a buddy color with coloring F. This is an old one, and I used Katrine from Always Coloring. I used her technique of dabbing the intense rooftops. And I drew, I remember drawing this down here. And I have my castle page here. 
with my sheep. Sorry if y'all hear those dogs speaking their whole life story outside. <laughs> we will move on to the next book. Here I have the second tale and we will see what I have in here. I keep seeing, I have been seeing wonderful versions of this picture for the past couple of months and I'm like, what's making everyone do this picture? I don't know, but I kind of want to do this one now because <laughs> it kind of inspires me when I see other people and what they've done with pages. It's so inspirational. Okay, so here was a buddy color with a coloring F. We love our buddy color, so I probably say that a hundred times. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. And so, yeah, they're cleaning the clock tower. Here is this one with a puppet show. And on her dress, you can see, like, some faint polka dots. Really like that effect. I love this one. This is in the back of my mind to do. This is in the back of my mind to do. It's just so many. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I totally forgot about this. So I actually started this a couple of months ago. And the paper, like, I cannot layer as much as I would like. I remember when I first started to color, I loved this paper. I wanted every book to be made out of this paper that I had. And now that I layer more, I find it difficult to color on this paper. And I'm using my Prisma colors. I used Arteza's also on here. Um, my, and then my paper peel, which has not ever happened to me before, really, in a romantic country book. And I don't use a lot of water. And it peeled when I used my ink tints over here. And it just totally just killed my morale. This is gouache, I think, for this bush because I had messed it up. And then I just decided. You can, it looks so dark. It's not that dark in real life. Um, I decided to go over it with gouache because I didn't like how I did. But I love my sunflowers. Like, it's so many different aspects. I'll take you around the picture. Like, I love the food up here. It's so many different things that I love about this page. I drew this plaid and her bandana. And I drew the plaid on her table setting because... Uh, even on even I got in this tiny little part because I um in my mind I was like this is her brand that's her brand image so that's why I did that about the page but I love my pastries like it's so many things I love about this page I don't like her skin I don't know what the heck I was doing right there <laughs> but yeah my cheese everything looks good but I just have to fight with this paper so when I want to color in my romantic country books and my Clara Markova books I really gotta muster my patience which I don't have because I'm not a patient person <laughs> I have to muster all my patience to color in these books because I cannot layer how I want. Okay, so here is this one with the girls hanging wreaths on the houses in the evening. I really like this one. It's so sweet. Like, I love my romantic country books, but the paper in the new one is way better, and I'm so grateful for it. Okay, so here is my most liked picture ever on Instagram. I guess, <laughs> like, in my opinion, I have better ones, but everyone loves this picture, and I guess it's just so atmospheric, like, you can just feel the festive, festivity, festiveness in the air, I don't know, what the heck am I trying to say, you get what I'm saying, and I made my cat a little pirate, even though he was a witch, so he's a witch pirate, and I like to draw pigtails on Alex and make him a girl, so I do that often <laughs> in this book, but yeah, that's that one. This one I did one night when I was suffering from insomnia and I can't believe I did that because it doesn't look like I did it. And I got black paint here. I got to figure out how to get that off because it's my Easter page. I don't. I got it like all on here. It's kind of like right here. What in the world was I doing? I don't know. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, my my Dolphin Cove mermaid thing going on. I did some ink tints right here, but look how ugly it is. I don't like it, so I'm going to have to cover that, but... I want to color this picture, but I don't want to do this cave part. And I'm trying to figure out in my mind before I continue with it how my lighting is going to be for this. Because if is she under the ocean and she's in the cave looking at the ocean, but, but then it's water. So it's like she is in the ocean. She's just in a cave in the ocean. I don't know. Because I'm like, how would you have candles in the ocean? It just, <laughs> I'm putting too much logic. It does not make sense. But... I don't know. This stuff would not be sitting if it, if she was in the ocean. It would float. So that's why I'm like, maybe she's on gr in the ground, on ground, on land. But the dolphin is blowing bubbles. So it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I don't understand. I really want to do this one. I think that'll be a nice one. But what else do I have colored in? I mean, I just went on a tangent. But it just doesn't make sense to me in that picture. And here I have my pipe organs. And I actually prefer these organs versus the rest of them because these look more chrome like and that's that's what I was doing and then I changed my mind but 
I do overall like this picture and there is some gold paint on here and I love her dress her little bow she matches Joe set it's just this book is so these books are adorable um, this is one in the back of my mind to do as well. Ugh, so many pictures. I love this one too. But these take a dog's age. A dog's age. That's what they say in the country. That's where I got that from. Okay, so good thing I still have some Christmas pictures left to do in here. Oh, and I think I was testing pencils like my Artezas in here. I think that's what that was. Yep, that's everything for my second tale book. Moving right along to the third tale that's out of print. <sighs> Hope it comes back in print one day because I've I did a lot of pictures in here when I first started to color as you're going to see. And I really would like the chance to do them over. And it's so funny when I first started to adult color, I was like, why would you ever want to color the same picture two and three times? Now I understand why. <laughs> you just want a different opportunity to try new things. And as you your skills progress, you just want to do better. And I, I understand that now. But I didn't get that back then. Like, I really want to do this one over. Ugh. But, you know. C'est la vie. So, here we go with this one. These are all OG pictures. What else do I have? Oh, I hate this one. This is like my least picture my least like picture ever that I've ever done because I tried to do something funny on this building and I didn't like it and I used acrylic paint and this was before I used matte acrylic paint so it, I couldn't use my pencils over it a learning lesson and um, when you use paint other than matte you cannot put pencil over it. and I just don't like how I drew on the wood I just don't like it but I do like only thing I like about this picture is the shadows that I did right here honestly everything else I hate I don't like this one was a whip that I hate. <laughs> the, these two pictures, uh, coincidentally, beside each other, I cannot stand them. Um, I was trying to do, like, the sky reflecting in the water, but I don't like the color scheme I was trying to do on here. It just did not go the way I foresaw it in my mind. It was horrible. So, here is this Ben's Fruit Bowl one. I really need to do this one in gel pens like I did the, the this one. So, I'm going to use... A little bit of pencil and then gel pen for this one because I want to do all the ones like this in the book. Like that. Here's another one. I think where it show, shows you the islands. This is the third tail. It's the only one that has like these little markers like that in it. Oh, let me show you this one. So this was all gel pens and I used a very limited color palette. This one was when I used to play around with my ink tints a lot. So that's that one. We have this purple spread that I've done of the carnival or whatever is happening here <laughs> and my silverware flatware tableware page with the stickles and what's on the back of here oh so I'm gonna have to work out even though it's not too textured but I'm gonna have to work that out when I get to that other page and I still haven't done a lot of the um, holiday ones so this I was trying to follow Chris Chang, but I didn't have her whole, I didn't have the 150 set. So I used the 72 set and did what I could for this one. Here's the food in the jar that I've done. I've done this one. And I'm trying to just hurry up so I can squeeze these last three or four books in. The, I didn't do this as a double page spread, but I did do them separately, but they just look like they kind of complement each other in a way and I used white acrylic paint but it was not satin but I kind of like it looking I mean it was it was not matte I'm sorry it was satin and I kind of like it looking like this because it kind of looks like snow will look so I've done this one I like my sitting room it's really nice and these are OG pictures like from way back in the day I hate this one too it's a, it's a couple of pictures in, in here I really don't like this is still undone I'm like saving this one <laughs> everyone's done it but I'm like saving it and I think that's it for my romantic country book okay hopefully I can squeeze these last three books in so here I have the time chamber by Daria Song and I don't have the time garden and I don't have the mysterious mansion those are her other books uh, these two I like better honestly out of all of them so this was my owl and my little fairy sitting here on the window my food page that I never added a background to I just left it <laughs> because I couldn't decide on the background I have this one done 
and there's glitter gel pen on this one if you can see that and I was really proud of how I did the shadow for my rope and this is like back in the day and I remember following Julie's passion for coloring actually to do this basket part uh, because she colored this page and I wanted to make mine look the best it could for you know what I could make it and I just follow her tutorial and I like this skin color and I think I just used ginger root it looks like ginger root I could just tell and then probably like light umber or something I should try that again and add something extra to it to see what I could make it look like but anyway I think that's everything that I've done in this one okay technically this is my last physical book but I did buy a book today and I bought Kristen Glorious Inc. Mystic Art Mirrors uh, I bought her new Fairytopia book and I will show y'all that because it is so nice and I haven't colored in it yet I just printed it but that will be the last thing that I show other than this one so here is the night voyage by Darius Song and I think my page fell out back here so oh no not this one <laughs> this one did not fall out but I've done her writing in her room probably about her crazy adventure she had <laughs> Here is my page that fell out, my breakfast page, and I just love the stickles, and I didn't care about this, so I was so happy that I could use stickles, and it's my kitten that was the bane of my existence, because I don't like to do fur, but here you can see it's some metallic gel pen on this page as well, but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this one, because, you know, not to sound redundant, but food is my jam. Okay, so, what else do we have here? Oh my gosh, I think that's everything.